and gentlemen, welcome to the very cool, the very stylish, and the very sensible Porsche 718 Cayman. And I say sensible with a grain of salt, because this all-round Cayman packs a surprising punch. There was a time, oh so long ago, where many motoring enthusiasts used to think that you at least needed a Porsche's flat six to be a fast car, or more, like a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. It was all about power to truly have a fast car. And in a straight line, that's all well and good. But there's a funny thing about life and roads. There's these little things called corners. to this than the Porsche Cayman. It's a car that you can drive around as an everyday car and it can be as completely comfortable as possible. But it can also outmaneuver some of the big boys on the track. How awesome is that? It's not just about horsepower. And that's what I love about the Porsche Cayman. It's about handling, it's about agility, maneuverability, about really bringing the driving experience to the driver. It's mid-mounted four-cylinder turbo engine, absolutely packs a walloping punch in terms of torque. It's very, very impressive. Now let's start with the exterior. I'll talk about the numbers 718 shortly. The Cayman was a hardtop evolution of the Boxster model and launched in 2006 and it looked great back then too. Now the sleek modern looks continue, albeit a little different. But it's the subtle nature of this car that makes real motoring enthusiasts appreciate the technology and time put into the Cayman's development. Unlike most sports cars, I also love the fact that storage space is very good. The rear boot holds 275 litres of luggage, which isn't too bad. But move to the front of the car and wait for it. Yep, the old frunk is back and with reasonable 130 litres of more boot space. Just don't expect to fit the golf clubs. It's just better in every way, and it's a good looking car too. The designers have taken the traditional Porsche look with the Cayman model and made it even better. Now the number 718 are Porsche's tribute, or homage I guess you could say, to the Porsche 718 that won the Targa Florio two times in a row in 1959 and 1960. Now that's pretty significant accolades that they're putting on this car to follow in its footsteps. My car that won those races was all about its weight. It was a lightweight car that was able to outmaneuver other cars that had significantly larger, more powerful engines. And nothing can be more further from the truth when it comes to the Porsche Cayman. As soon as you step foot in a Porsche, you know you're in a Porsche. You could close your eyes and know you're in a Porsche. That's how significant the ambience and the quality feels are in a car like this. Porsche have a very distinctive smell to them. And it's not offensive. It's not like someone farted in your face or anything like that. It really is a very individualistic smell that Porsche have. Steering wheel, awesome. Perfect size, perfect girth, great feel. Love the metallic look of it. Love the leather cladded wheel around the edge. The cockpit, perfect array of vents, 
brushed metal. There's no carbon fiber in this and you don't need carbon fiber in a sports car. It's actually more of an aesthetic look and quite frankly, it can be a bit of a waste of time. It's got those Porsche Perfect seats. Porsche Perfect, that's what this car is. It's Porsche Perfect. It's Porsche at its absolute perfection. I mean, really Porsche, how much more perfection are you actually capable of? Hello? This would have to be probably the best balanced car that I've ever driven, and I've driven some very well balanced cars before. It just screams perfection. I'm sure there's people out there that think this car is boring and I completely disagree with that. It doesn't have the flair that some of the Ferraris have or the 911 etc. I think it actually has a flair of its own and that is that it is the absolute ultimate driver's car. Simple as that. This is not a car about outright speed. This is a car that you just find joyous take on a windy road. It's not only that, it looks great, it sounds great, the interior is beautiful. The package of a Porsche Cayman, well, let's put it this way, it's the perfect birthday present. Right, turn 180 degrees. There we go. Push off you go. Yeah, baby. This thing handles like it's on rails. It ain't going nowhere. It's stuck to the ground. Stuck to the bitchman. about this car is that I don't even have it in any type of sport mode. This is standard driving mode and it's still a great car. Put it in sport mode and lots of magical things happen in this car. Suspension gets stiffer, the dampers all tighten up, you get a much more responsive feel, well technically because you're theoretically meant to be going faster, but it's just brilliant. And then you've got sport plus mode for the track. I won't use that right now. Damn you, Porsche. Damn you. Stop building such good cars. Now, I have to admit, I am a complete fan of the flat six that is in the Generation 1 Porsche Caymans and the Boxsters. The feel of that engine and the pull that you get out of it, it's just wonderful. I really do like it. And I am looking forward to driving the new Porsche GTS with the 4 litre naturally aspirated 6 as well, because I think that's going to be an absolute beast of a car to drive. But this is. This is a great car. There is no doubt about it. <laughs>